Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the number one thing, the number one tool that I think helps you become a better artist. It helps you be more creative, it helps you unblock any stuck blocks that you might have. It just clears the way to make more art, if you will. No matter what kind of artist you are, this tip should help you to really, really hold yourself accountable and be more creative in general. And honestly, way more productive as well. And the tip I'm talking about is super, super simple. It's almost so simple that I don't even need to be making a whole video about it, but I'm going to because I feel like it is so powerful and so important. So that tip is you are going to want to journal every single morning. I know, it's simple, but it is super, super helpful. So this is the journal that I use. It's seriously just a basic notebook that I got at the dollar store. And the reason I like these is because you don't get super attached to them and they're really cheap. And what makes this habit so powerful and successful is actually writing three large pages a day. So if you get a small journal, let's say something that is more uh, this size, then your pages and your writing isn't gonna be as long. So what makes it so powerful is actually writing three full pages. So these pages are a lot larger and I can get more writing in. So that's why I also prefer these larger notebooks. So honestly, it doesn't really matter what journal or notebook you write in, as long as you're writing three or the equivalent of three large pages a day. And the reason you wanna do that is because if you only write one or two pages, you're not gonna to get to the nitty gritty. Once you start to write more pages every morning, at least three, you'll notice that you hit a point about a page and a half in where you will start to write down, honestly, pure magic, <laughs> which I know sounds dramatic, but you'll see what I mean when you start doing it. But I wanna start by saying I didn't create this habit myself. This is actually a habit that I learned from this book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. So this is actually called The Morning Pages. When you journal for three pages every single morning, that's called the morning pages. And I swear to you, it has helped me so much to feel more creative, to feel more productive, to honestly get out of my own dang way. Cause I get so in my head every single day, you guys, about creating art, about what it means to be an artist. My ego honestly just flares up and I just get so stuck in my head and I don't even realize it until the day's already over and I haven't created a single piece of art. So every morning I literally roll out of bed around 6.30 a.m. So I recommend getting up a half hour earlier than you normally would so that you can write these pages. Oh, there's my dog. That's Pepper. So I make my coffee and I sit down and I write three pages. I started this one back in August 8th, I think. So I've been doing this for about three weeks. And I've almost filled this entire notebook. And honestly, some days I write more than just three pages. Sometimes it turns into four and that's okay. Always finish out your thought. And if you're in the flow of it, keep writing. Because honestly, when you start writing like this, like I said, you get out of your own way and you start to have answers kind of pop up to any questions you might have, any stuckness you might be facing, any fears you have are going to come up. And to get that all on paper is so, 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 so powerful because once it's on paper, you can see that. And it can hold, you can hold yourself accountable to that as well. And the other really important thing about these morning pages is you want to write them and forget them. So go ahead and write your three pages and don't read them back. Not that day, not the next day, not next week. You want to just write these pages every morning, free form, just write, 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 anything you can think of. It can be good, bad, ugly, indifferent. Write every single thing you're thinking, everything you're feeling, every tiniest little thing going on in your life. Write that down in here and you will seriously notice the difference when you go to make art or you go to write or you go to create anything. If you're writing these morning pages, you're gonna notice a difference. And another thing I've noticed about writing these morning pages is it helps to keep me accountable to certain goals that I've created, certain dreams that I have. One of those specific things being, you know, I want to post on YouTube every week. So I'm always writing about this goal in my journal. And when I write about it, I, <laughs> And there's no excuses, right? Like I'm writing, hey, I want to film a YouTube video every single week. If I'm writing that almost every morning and keeping myself accountable to that dream, I can't really like go about my day and forget that I set that goal or that dream or that intention. So if you're writing your goals and dreams and intentions in this book, it will help keep you accountable to those dreams and intentions. And then obviously as you write about those things, some of your fears might come up and then you can work through those fears in this book. And if anything, it's good to write your fears so that you can see them so they're not lurking in the shadows, keeping you from reaching your dreams, keeping you stuck and procrastinating, because that's what I do. When I'm scared, 
I just kind of like pretend like I'm not scared but then I'm like doing every single thing else besides making the dang art like I'm scared so you know I'm watching more YouTube videos I'm procrastinating I'm making any excuse I can not to get in the studio but when I write it all down here it clears me of it it frees me of it so that I can get in the studio and not let those fears hold me back and another thing I noticed too is you can't really hide from yourself in these notebooks and in the past I've noticed that it's easy for me to hide similar to what I was saying before from my dreams from my hopes from my goals it's easier for me to, you know, indulge in habits I'm not proud of, like drinking too much or watching too much TV. But when I'm writing every morning, I can't really hide from myself there. Like I can easily admit like, hey, I watched, you know, three hours of TV last night and I wish I'd been painting instead. I can write that in this book. And then if I am writing that almost every single day, I'm going to notice that. I'm going to say, hey, I don't want to spend three hours watching TV every night. I want to do that, spend that time doing something else. So you'll want to write these morning pages every single morning. If you skip a day or miss a day, it's okay. Just start again the next morning. But if you write these morning pages every single morning, you're going to notice a difference in honestly your overall perspective just in life and then especially in your creative practice. It will free you up immensely to create the things that you want to create, not only in your artwork, but also in other parts of your life. Like I said, it will hold you accountable and it'll help you realize what you do and do not want in your life. Like I said, once you get that stuff all on the paper, you can't hide from it and it helps you learn more about who you are and who you want to be and how to make that happen. And I think that's a really, really powerful practice. So wake up early, write three pages in your notebook, and I promise you it will change your freaking life. <laughs> and I know it sounds dramatic, but it's true. It is so, so true. So write your morning pages and then do not read them. Do not read them for at least a month, if not two months. After two months, about eight weeks, uh, Julia Cameron says that you can start to go back and read your morning pages, but do not start reading them until about eight weeks. Don't even look back at them until you've reached that eight week mark. And once you reach that eight week mark of journaling, which I actually still haven't reached yet, she does say that you can go back and read all your entries, which I can imagine is a whirlwind, but she says that you'll notice certain things come up over and over and over again. Feel free to circle those things, highlight those things, and as you notice those things come up over and over and over again, take note of that, and once again, that will help show you the direction you're supposed to move in. You can't hide from yourself if you're mentioning the same things every single day or the same themes are gonna come up over and over and over again because that's just how our brains work. So once you've hit that eight week mark, go back and start to see what may be coming up over and over and over again. So that's another amazing thing and tool with writing these morning pages is you're gonna start seeing these common threads and themes pop up over and over and over again. And I am so excited to see that happen. So I'll try to give you an update once I hit that eight week mark of doing my morning pages. Like I said, I'm only about three weeks of consistently doing it so far. So I haven't hit the point where I get to go back and see what's lurking in my day to day journaling. <laughs> So anyway, that is my big tip for how to, you know, be more creative, how to be a better artist, honestly, how to be more productive. This is going to change your life. I, know, I, I keep saying it, it's too much, but try it out. Try it for at least a week and see how you feel. Maybe try it for two weeks and see how you feel. But I cannot recommend it enough. I'm going to keep pushing through. This is a habit that I want to keep doing for maybe the rest of my life. I think this is so powerful. And doing it really, really does hold me accountable. And, and I've said it a million times, but this is such a powerful habit. And please let me know in the comments if you end up doing this habit. And if it helps you at all, let me know. It's helped me, like I said, it has helped me so much. And I'm excited to share it with you. I'm very passionate about this habit. This is the number one habit that will help you be more creative, more productive, and get you out of your creative rut if you're stuck in one. So please, let me know if it helped you and please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like this content. I am an artist and creativity coach and I'm excited to be sharing more and more with you of not only my art but also my creative practices that I do to help be more creative every single day. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys next one. Bye guys!